The day begins with Katie being awakened by her daughter, Lisa. After sharing breakfast and freshening up, Katie takes Lisa to school on her scooter, promising to pick her up after work. At her factory job, Katie notices a new colleague, Paco. Throughout the day, they exchange glances, clearly attracted to each other. During lunch break, they share a bench and introduce themselves over cigarettes. This leads to a discreet encounter in the restroom, with Paco exiting first to avoid suspicion. However, upon returning to work, Katie suddenly faints. Meanwhile, Lisa waits patiently for her mother, who arrives late, apologizing and attributing the delay to work without mentioning her fainting episode. The following day, when Katie and Paco cross paths, they laugh off their previous day's actions, admitting it was out of character for both of them. They decide to go on a date that night. Knowing Lisa is self-reliant, Katie waits for her to fall asleep before leaving for her date with Paco. Despite Paco's late arrival, the two enjoy their time together and end up in Katie's apartment. Their late night activities wake Lisa, who hears them throughout the night. The next morning, Lisa wakes up to find her mother having breakfast with Paco. When Paco tries to introduce himself, Lisa, feeling a mix of embarrassment and upset, retreats to her room. Katie follows her and reveals that Paco will be moving in with them, encouraging Lisa to give him a chance. Fast forward several months, Katie's in labor, about to give birth to her and Paco's baby. Paco asks Lisa what she would like to name her new brother, to which she responds with, Ricky. Upon their return home, Lisa and Katie are pleasantly surprised by the modifications Paco has made to Lisa's room to accommodate baby Ricky. The family is gathered around the table for a meal when Ricky begins to cry. Paco jokingly suggests that Ricky is crying because he wants some of their champagne and playfully dips his finger into it and pretends to give the baby a taste. This act annoys Katie, who picks up Ricky, subtly expressing her disapproval of Paco's parenting. On another day, Lisa arrives home from school and notices Paco talking to another woman. She doesn't mention this to her mother. Inside, she and Katie watch the lottery on TV, hoping for a win, but they are disappointed as usual. When Paco arrives home late, Katie confronts him about his recent absences, leading to an argument. Amidst the tension, Lisa takes care of Ricky, feeding him from his baby bottle. Later, Katie and Paco share a moment in bed. Paco expresses his feeling of being neglected, as Katie has been focusing solely on Ricky. Katie reassures him that things will improve once she returns to work the next day. With Katie at work, Paco is left alone with Ricky for the first time. He struggles with the new responsibility, leaving Ricky crying for a while as he prepares his milk. He then feeds him and later changes him. When Katie and Lisa return home, they find a heartwarming sight. Paco has fallen asleep with Ricky in his arms. Katie gently takes Ricky from him and asks Paco how the day went, to which he responds that it was good. However, when Katie is alone with Ricky, she notices a bump on his back. She questions Paco about it, asking if he dropped Ricky. Paco denies dropping him, but says that he might have accidentally knocked Ricky against the crib, causing a small bruise. Later that night, Ricky continues to cry, and Katie notices that the bump has grown larger, and there are now two of them. Paco, who had gone out, arrives late at night to find that Katie hasn't slept. She confronts him, telling him that Ricky's bruises are getting worse and accuses him of hitting Ricky. Offended by this accusation, Paco leaves, throwing the apartment keys, telling Katie that he won't be coming back. Awoken by the argument, Lisa sees her upset mother and consoles her with a hug. One day, Katie leaves Lisa to care for Ricky. Upon her return, she finds Ricky's crib empty, causing a moment of panic. The open window leads Katie to initially blame Lisa but they soon discover spots of blood in the crib. Their search leads them to Ricky, who is unexpectedly perched atop the closed cabinet. They are baffled by how he managed to get up on his own. Upon examining Ricky, they discover strange bony protrusions growing on his back where the bruises were. Katie and Lisa give Ricky a bath, during which they inspect these peculiar growths. Katie speculates that they will eventually fall off. After the bath, they return Ricky to his crib, which they wrap shut with a blanket to prevent him from escaping again. When Lisa asks if Katie plans to take Ricky to a doctor, Katie firmly declines. As Lisa prepares to go to school, Katie warns her not to tell anyone about Ricky's condition, fearing that someone might want to harm him as he's different. One night, Katie realizes that Paco didn't hit Ricky and contemplates calling him but ultimately decides against it. Over time, Ricky's growths develop into small wings. Katie measures them and then modifies his shirts to accommodate the wings. Lisa is fascinated by Ricky likening him to an angel, to which Katie humorously responds that he might be more like a chicken. As time goes on, Ricky's wings continue to grow feathers. On her way to school, Lisa runs into Paco. When Paco inquires about Ricky, Lisa simply replies that he's fine before rushing off to catch her bus. To ensure Ricky's safety, as he begins to fly around the room, Katie buys a helmet and various other safety items. Despite her precautions, Ricky attempts to fly out a closed window and falls onto the cushioned floor. One lucky day, Katie wins 2,000 euros in the lottery, attributing their good fortune to Ricky. She takes Ricky and Lisa to a department store to splurge a bit. While Katie and Lisa are focused browsing through the products, Ricky removes his coat and begins to fly around the store. The sight of Ricky flying causes disbelief among the shoppers, leading to the evacuation of the store. Security personnel bring in ladders to catch Ricky. As they finally manage to capture him, Katie rushes over, distressed and concerned for Ricky's safety. 
Shortly after, Ricky is taken to a doctor. In the waiting room, Katie is visibly worried. Inside the doctor's office, he assures Katie that Ricky is safely sleeping in another room. The doctor then informs her that they can't proceed with any procedures without her approval and expresses his desire to run tests on Ricky and the family to prove the best advice possible. Deciding to take Ricky and go home, Katie is hounded by paparazzi, prompting the doctor to call her a taxi. He advises her to call him the next day. In the cab, Katie tells Lisa that they won't be speaking to the doctor again. Upon arriving home, she finds her building swarming with news reporters and curious neighbors. Katie doesn't engage with anyone and manages to make her way to her apartment. Turning on the TV, she sees that the incident at the store where everyone saw Ricky flying is all over the news. The next day, their house is even more surrounded by news teams. When there's a knock at the door, Lisa opens it to find Paco. When Katie comes to see Paco, she tells Lisa to go to her room so they can talk. Having seen Ricky on TV, Paco expresses his amazement. This leads Katie to apologize for accusing him of hitting Ricky, and the two quickly reconcile. Paco expresses his desire to see Ricky, stating that he's missed him. When he first sees Ricky, Paco is amazed by his ability to fly around the room. However, he soon realizes that Ricky is suffering due to being confined in a room with various dangerous items that he keeps bumping into and getting hurt. This prompts Katie and Paco to call the doctor to see if he can help them. Unfortunately, the doctor's best advice is that they operate on Ricky to remove the wings, as they expect that their continued development will eventually be harmful to him and could potentially cause his death. Katie is firmly against the idea of removing Ricky's wings. This prompts Paco to suggest that they could take advantage of their unique situation and earn money from journalists, which would assist them in taking care of Ricky as he grows. This proposal leads Katie to question if money was the real reason for his return. Paco quickly refutes this, stating that he only left in the first place because of a hurtful accusation. With limited options, they decide to proceed with Paco's plan. They step outside with Ricky to present him to the journalist. They secure a string around Ricky's foot, which Katie holds, and then allow him to fly. The sight of Ricky joyfully soaring in the air is so mesmerizing that Katie accidentally releases the string without realizing it. Now free, Ricky flies over the lake, and everyone watches him until he disappears from sight. As the journalists start to disperse, disappointed, Katie is left devastated, unable to believe she lost her baby. The doctor arrives to comfort the family. When Paco expresses his fear that Katie will blame him for this incident since the idea of involving journalists was his, the doctor wisely advises him that she won't blame him if he stays by her side, proving that he wasn't there just for money. Refusing to give up hope, the family prints out flyers and starts distributing them. In a moment of harsh reality, Paco tells Katie that it's unlikely Ricky survived, given the numerous dangers in the environment. Not accepting this, Katie takes a walk around the lake one day and steps into the water. To her surprise, she spots Ricky flying above her. She calls out to him, assuring him that she's his mom and asking him not to fly away. Ricky lands, and she's amazed at how much he has grown, even able to walk now. Katie apologizes to Ricky, saying that she didn't mean to let go of the string. He was just too beautiful flying. With this moment of happiness, she watches Ricky fly away again, this time with a smile on her face realizing that he's meant to be flying freely in the open world. She returns home soaking wet and embraces Paco and Lisa, telling him that she loves them. As time passes, Katie, Paco, and Lisa continue to live happily together, with Katie expecting another child.